Question 10. Last question of the paper, and to be honest, it could have been a lot worse, but then again, you might be brain dead at this point, so hopefully we can get through it. Okay, phenylbutazone is an anti-inflammatory drug used for the short-term treatment of pain and fever in animals. Phenylbutazone can be synthesized in a multi-step process starting from compound E. Elemental microanalysis showed that compound A has a composition by mass of, and you've got 50% C, 5.6% hydrogen and 44.4% oxygen. Calculate empirical formula. Okay, empirical formula is not that bad. Okay, so we've got carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. You've got 50% of this, you've got 5.6% of that and 44.4%. What you then need to do is take into account the fact that carbon, hydrogen, oxygen weigh different things. So we're just going to divide each of these by their relative atomic mass. Okay, so we're going to end up with uh, 4.167, 5.6 and 2.775. Okay, right now we need to get this, so that's what the ratio is, but we now need to get it into a ratio you can work with. So the simplest way is to divide by the smallest number you have, which is our 2.775. And that gives us not absolutely perfectly, but pretty close, 1.5, 2, and 1. Now, you can't have half inside your formulas, so I'm going to have to double up the whole thing. So I'm going to end up with carbon at 3, hydrogen at 4, and oxygen at 2. We want the empirical formula, so you're going to write it down as C3H4O2. Two marks. Right, next question. It says an infrared spectrum for compound E is shown below, and we have a little picture of it. And then it says identify the functional group responsible for the peak at 1710. Okay. I then went and pulled out this entire thing from the data book, and I'm looking for 1710, so I'm going to go down here at my 170s, and 1710 is going to have to be in here. Asks for the functional group. So the functional group is the C double bond O stretch. Just checking I was being stretched correctly. Okay. We then get a mass spec for compound A. Write the molecular formula for compound A. Well, you've already worked out that the empirical formula is C, what do we say, C3, H4O2. And what we have here is a molecular ion at 72. So I'm basically looking for how many multiples of this go into 72. So I'm going to say I've got three carbons, four hydrogens, and two oxygens. And four times one, and two times 16. Uh, where are we going? So uh, 36, four, and 32 gives me a total of 72, so I actually only have to do it once. So my molecular formula is just that. Now, I think some pe times people end up thinking, overthinking it because they think, well, I can't be right, but absolutely the, the case in this one. Okay. Suggest a possible iron fragment that might be responsible for the peak at MZ27. Okay, so you're only ever given two. In this one, you're only ever given um, one possible um, positive charge on this. So you've got to make it the charge for a start. Make sure it's an ion, so you're going to have to put a charge. We're looking for something that's 27. So 27. We're working with these elements here, so let's see what we can get. Um, really, I'm thinking the most likely thing is that we take two carbons, because that's going to give us 24, and then I just need three hydrogens in there to give me 27. So my ion fragment is just going to be C2 H3 with a little positive charge. Considering all the evidence, draw a structural formula for a compound A. Right, so all my evidence is, here is my formula, and I've said there's a C double bond O stretch, and from the table I'm saying that's in a carboxylic acid. So let's put the carboxylic acid in first. I'll just move this down a little bit for space. Okay, C double bond O bond OH. Okay, so I've already used up one of my carbons from in here and one of my hydrogens and both of my oxygens. So I only have another two carbons to do, so I'm just going to stick two carbons on the end. And I've only got three hydrogens left, so I'm going to go one, two, and three there, which means I have a double bond and fill in my hydrogens to make it all look pretty. And that was you. Finish the paper question, finish the paper.